well into the last snap now and Roach must be asking himself some questions now can he take on Sean Yates can he afford to finesse and perhaps wait a little bit he's tightening both feet even tighter into those plates so he can pull as well as push in the sprint on those pedals riding very close to the cones forcing Yates should he attack him to go on one side only and that would be on Roach's left side and look at the figure of Piper, you can just see him coming down, but it's too late. The chase is not going to be successful for Piper. Perhaps one more lap would have done it. Roach breathing deeply, rests what I think is an aching back here. But he comes into the finishing straight now, slows down a little bit. Piper will continue to gain, but he won't gain enough now. This has been a great race tonight. The laps have been run off at around 30 miles an hour. Stephen Roach hasn't missed a move. But on the right goes Sean Yates now. Roach is taking him on. What a sprint this is. Ray Yates is going now. Half a length in it. Yates takes it on the line. Quite clear in the finish. Stephen Roach takes second place. The crowd reserving a special cheer for Alan Piper of Australia. And the sprint here for fourth place being won by Steve Jockey. But this picture says it all two men who made friends for the night they beat the field in the Kellogg's championship and we can see now Yates is happy to wave to the crowd we don't see him win many races in Great Britain and here we can see how he did it because Yates won by a good half length